Okay, so now we're going to look at the product rule for counting. So in a restaurant, there are three starters and five main courses. How many combinations are there available? So one way of answering this would be to list all the different options available. So we've got starter one, starter two, starter three, main one, main two, main three, main four, main five. So all the combinations, if I start with starter one, I could have it with main one. I could have starter one with main two, starter one with main three, starter one with main four, starter one with main five. I could have starter two also with main one, starter two with main two, starter two with main three, starter two with main four, and starter two with main five. And then I could have starter three with main one, starter three with main two, starter three with main three, starter three with main four, and starter three with main five. So I've listed all the options and then I could count them up. So I can count there. Um, there are 15 different options. Um, so we could list them all and then, ca and then count them up. But the much easier way, so if you've got three of one option, five of the other option, we just do three times five, and then that would tell us straight away there are 15 combinations available. So there are five mains, three starters, so 15 combinations available. So all we've got to do is multiply them together. And that is the product rule for counting. So let's say there are five starters, six mains, and three desserts. How many different meals involving one starter, one main, and one dessert are available? So we're just going to time them together. So we've got five options, six options, and three options. So 5 times 6, that's 30. 30 times 3, it's 90. So we've got 90 different options available. Okay, so here we've got a different question. There are six different suites available in a box. I'm going to pick two different suites, how many combinations are available. So let's again, let's look at listing the combinations. So if I take a blue first, I could go blue and red. I could go blue and yellow, blue and purple, blue and I think that's brown, and blue and green. I could go red first. I go red, blue, red, yellow, red, purple, red, brown and red, green. If it's for yellow, I go yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, purple, yellow, brown, and yellow, green. I could go purple first and go purple, blue, purple, red, purple, yellow, purple, brown, and purple, green. Oh, I'm back, purple, green, and if I went for brown first, I go brown, blue, brown, red, brown, yellow, brown, purple, and brown, green, and finally a green first, I go green, blue, green, red, green, yellow, green, purple, and finally, green, brown. So we can see there were six options for the first suite. I could go for blue, red, yellow, purple, brown, and green. So there are six options, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six options for the first suite. And then for each of those, there were one, two, three, four, five options. So I do six times five, and I get 30. So there are 30 different options I've listed here, but what we'll be able to find is there are doubles everywhere. So I've got blue red here and blue red here. So there's two of them. I've got blue yellow here and I have yellow blue here. I've got blue purple here and purple blue here. So every one 
I've got a double. So there are the same sweets, but the other way around. And if I want um, how many combinations can I have? Blue red is the same as red blue. I've got two sweets and they're the same. So what I need to do is I need to half this number. So there are actually 15 different combinations. So 15 different combinations. Okay, so here's a couple of questions for you to have a go at. So you can pause the video and give them a go. So there are 12 girls and 11 boys in the class. How many pairs of one girl and one boy are available? So one girl, one boy. So there's 12 of the first option, 11 of the second option. So 12 times 11 is, well, 12 times 10 is 120 plus a 12, so 132. How many pairs of two boys are available? So there's 11 boys in total. So I've got 11 options for the first boy, then 10 options for each of those. So I can pick 10 potential um, pairs, partners for each boy. So 11 times 10, but um, we're gonna get a double of each of them. So I need to half it. So it's 11 times 10 divided by two, which is 55.